Hello everyone. Now let's begin part two, the extended features of IP tables. In this part, I will explain four chapters about extended features of IP tables. Chapter six, directional filtering. Directional filtering means the when we configure IP tables as a the firewall on the X system according to the direction the result of our filtering will be different okay for example number one now here we have the this kind of scenario so first one case one is the no filtering so in this case the host way will be the connected to host B using the same packet and the host B will reply with the act and the same pack also then host the a will send the act packet then this in this case we can say the connected case 2 now host b has this kind of rules how ip table siphon a input and the source host a is we can say this one is the, the kind of the client and the drop in this case if we have this kind of rule then now host B has to A try to connect it to the host B with the same packet but this connection will be refused by this kind of rules so if we use IP tables hyphen A input host A uh, source address will be drop number two directional filtering case Three. So now host B has this kind of rule IP tables hyphen A input source address host A J drop. So in this case, now host B the try to send the SIM packet to host A. In this case, no problem. But if host A try to reply to this SIM packet with ACK and the SIN, then this one also will be refused. Case four ip tables input the protocol tcp and the, with the sim packet source address host a then will be dropped in this case now host b send the sim packet to host a with sin and host the a will reply to this packet with act and sin then if the host B send the ACK packet then this one will be connected so even if we have this kind of rule this connection will be successful to connect each other okay chapter 7 the UDP ICMP match extensions first the UDP in this part I will use the NTP so IP tables uh, input table and the match the protocol will be the UDP and the source port source port to one to three normally point to network time protocol. So if the some the packet try to access from the source port one to three from mean, mean the network time protocol then this packet will drop so in this case only just uh, to use the udp only we can define only protocol and source port what destination port is enough to configure the udp extensions number two match icmp icmp has a lot of the messages so in this case we can define like this the protocol icmp and icmp type for example destination unreachable then we will accept this kind of icmp type and the echo reply and echo request also we will accept this kind of rules when we configure ismp you have to consider this kind of ismp messages number three match argument when we use udp or ismp or the tcp protocols we can use the match argument for example first one we can match the made by the by made made by this kind of things for example ip address or host name or port number and service name 
And when we use this kind of argument, we can use exclamation mark. And this one normally means the reverse meaning. For example, I build tables hyphen a input hyphen uh, no 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 the hyphen s exclamation mark one two three one two three one two star one j. It means if we don't have this one, it means only this source address will be dropped. But I already told you this exclamation mark means the reverse. It means only this except this IP address, all source address will be dropped. It means only this IP address will be permitted to connect to this the DNS server or the this server using this kind of the firewall. And if we want to include the port number, then we can define like this zero colon uh, 1023. Then from zero to 1023 port will be defined. And uh, also we can use the mask, subnet mask using the VLSM and CID. If we use the VLSM, the expression will be like this. If I if we use the CIDR, then just define only the bit number like this. Okay, connection tracking chapter eight. Connection tracking is a new feature of IP tables from the previous version. So we call this one stateful inspection. So connection tracking provides the inspection of packets state according to the each packet state. Normally, the IP tables will the track and inspect of this kind of the packet. So this kind of packet can be tested in a specific context by IP tables. Also, this connection tracking the simplify the rule design. If we don't have this kind of connection tracking, normally IP tables rules only uh, can be tested in fair. For example, inbound, outbound, like this. And if we want to use this connection tracking, normally we can use the match extension state. In match state, there are four kinds: new established, rated, and invalid. Next phase, I will explain about this one. If we want to use this kind of collection tracking feature in IP tables, we need more memory because the normally IP tables store all their the tracking information to this file, proc, net, nf, underbar, contract. So we need more memory to uh, support this connection tracking features in IP tables. And uh, if we want to use the connection tracking features, then normally please check that this kind of the kernel module NF on the back connection tracking, NF on the back connection tracking IP version 4. So if we have this kind of the module from the kernel, then we can use the connection tracking features. So if you, you want to check this kind of feature, then you can use LS mode hyphen grab connection. Then you can see this kind of module. Number two, state module. I already told you there are four kinds of states in connection tracking. So new, established, late, and invalid. New means it's a kind of packet which create new connection. So now, if we use the new, the state in new, then the IP the tables will always inspect only the new connections. Establish the packet which belong to an existing connections. So in this case, for example, like a reply packets or outgoing packet on connection which has seen reply. So in the input already this connection uh, was the successful, then this one also needed to the uh, uh, go outside using our going down packet. In this case, we can use this kind of established deleted packet with a related to but not a part of on existing connections such as 
like uh, ICMP error or FTP. In case FTP, normally we will use the FTP port number 21 to download and upload this kind of the, uh, files. But if we want to use the 20, port number 21, normally FTP also must be used using this port number. So in this case, even if we the permit the, this port number 21, but 20 port number 20 also must be used for FTP services. So in this case, port number 20 will be deleted. Invalid packet which could not be identified, could not be identified for some the reason. So in this case, normally we don't respond to any the connections. So normally this kind of packet will be dropped. Connection tracking number three protocol connection port or states. So here, let's you try to the check or the study more the T speak about the T speak connections that deeply. For example, first one TCP connection. Normally, we can say this one the three way handshake. So here, client firewall. So if client send the SIM packet to the server, then we can say this connection is just new. And if the server reply to this packet with scene and egg, then maybe the client also will send the egg. Then we can say this kind of connection is established. So if we uh, want to check that this kind of connection, then go to this file frog net network uh, net filter the connection tracking. Then you can see this kind of the local file. So since send, receive, and have that established between this is our source, mean the client, and this one is a destination, mean the server. TCP connection is closed down. When we connect or when we make uh, the connection using TCP, normally we use three-way, but when we close the down, this connection, normally we need the four ways. First, the client will send the finish and egg packet to uh, the server. Then the server also will reply to egg. We can say this uh, state establish, establish. If the server the receive this kind of packet from the client uh, server also will send fin and egg packet to the client then this connection is established if the client send egg to the server then this one will be this state will be the closed udp is very simple client send the packet to the uh, server then we can say this state is a new and if the UDP server also defly to the client then we can say this state is established so in this case for example here uh, this is a source address is mean a kind of client and this is a kind of the the server so after at first time no connections but uh, if the source, the destination will apply to the source address. Then we can say here assure and assure. This is a source and this is a it's a kind of the client. Okay, ICMP connection. So ICMP if the server send ICMP echo request to the client, then we can say this state is a new. And if a client reply with the packet ICMP echo reply to the server, then we can say this state is established. ICMP connection, so according to the, some the messages, we can say that this kind of state is different. For example, now the client send the SIM packet to the server using the new, but from the server just now the client will receive ICMP network on a reachable. In this case, we can say this state is related. And 
UDP in case of UDP packet, if the client send UDP packet to the server, in this case we can say just the new. And if the server send the message with ISMP network the prohibited, then maybe this kind of the correction we can say is a related. Number four, connection tracking modules. So if we want to use the connection tracking, then please check this kind of the module, especially this one. NF connection tracking IPv4 version 4 and NF that the filter on the connection tracking. And uh, if we uh, if you want to control this kind of module, please check this file. It is this config IP tables hyphen config. And according to the situation, you need to check the maximum tracking the table numbers. So if you want to see the exact the maximum tracking table numbers, then please check this file proc net net filter network uh, net filter the bar connection tracking and the bar max. Here you can uh, see exactly the maximum table number and if you want to the change this maximum table number then you can see you can configure one file in part three i will show you how to the change the connection the tracking table numbers number five connection tracking example uh first one 102 permit established only now the match state and established and related then if you want to the permit this one only established and related you can use the discount rule and the second it, uh, this one is the many rules one for each permitted the service so per each service only if you want to the permit do the state then here in my case now I'm using the port number 25 as a SMTP and if I just permit this kind of the service then IP tables hyphen input state new now the other the state new will be prohibited or rejected okay chapter 9 not so NAT means the translate one IP address into another. So normally we can say this can NAT has the inbound and outbound traffic. And the NAT also allow the hiding internal IP address behind a single public IP address. And this can the rules set with NAT table, NAT filter table. And the number D in the network address the translation types there are two kinds of types the destination not or d not source not source uh, source not as not or masquerade destination not means set in the normally destination not can be used in pre routing chain and here filtering used translated addresses and the source not set in the postal this one normally can be used only the postal routing chain and here normally the filtering never use the translate addresses in this case we can use the source not one masquerade and the two use uh, this kind of not feature in ip tables first activate ip forwarding in the corner so to activate ip forwarding in the corner we can use two kinds of command first echo one the frog system ip button four ip and about forward then this one will permit ip forward or activate ip forward in the corner but uh, this configuration can be the temporary configuration so if we want to change this setting permanently then please check etc is city.com so here please change here one mean the activate this feature example inbound for the destination not ip tables hyphen t the mean the table not and the pre routing protocol tcp and destination port 8 means the web server then we will use the dash not to dash the 192.168.2 it means 
if the packet arrive in our the web server with public IP address, then this packet will the translate to this IP address 192.168.2. So in this case, this IP address is the IP address of our internal web servers. Outbound with the port redirection. So in this case. If uh, our the the client want the uh, the packet to send to try to here destination port the web server, then this packet will translate it to like this one nine two one six eight two, especially the port number as well. So even if destination port is eighty, but this port the packet will be transferred uh, uh, transfer to here uh, 3128 normally we can use this kind of things for the proxy and uh, number three the source not example masquerade normally we can use masquerade when we are using for the interface assigned by the dhcp for example if tables type not the post routing the interface uh, here I uh, found the interface will be the ETH0 then masquerade then ETH0 will be used for masquerading source not the table not and the post routing source address 192.168.0 slash 24 and source not to source 60.61.1 it means our internal network using this the private network address 192.168.0 and uh, from the this network address if the client want to connect to the public like internet in this case this all the address will be changed to 6061.1 so 6061.1 is uh, our the public IP address can be used in the internet also, this one, the similar source not the source address 6061 is a public IP address uh, we are using now and the port number. So here, according to our the number of client, we can define exact number of the port. We can say this one P not. Okay, then let's uh, test here. Okay, first, now let's test. Uh, at first time, I configured. Okay, the, so here in my case, now I copy this kind of rules. First one, UDP using like this copy. I will to save the time. I will use this copy. So first. At first, uh, let's check in my case. So now I have the, this kind of the rules and about. So now for the not, I have the, this kind of rules as well. So here, let's add some the rules paste. So in my case now, the time network time protocol for the number one to three will be dropped. So. Let's check here. So this one, you can see UDP port to the source port 123 will be the drop. And the second for ICMP, so here let's test this one. Coffee. Okay, fast. Also, this one, destination unreachable ICMP type will be accepted by firewall and uh, also echo, reply, and uh, reply, uh, request also faced. And coffee and the face also echo request and echo reply packet also will be accepted okay let's check so now okay here you can see here ismp type ismp type 0 and ism type a so here we can see three kind ismp the protocols 
And now the collection tracking. Now let's try to use the if tables here. Establish and uh, related copy. Faced. So let's test here. Now the mode uh, match here state deleted established will be accepted. And uh, okay, now new in my case uh, paste 25 and also 22 ssh and web the web server okay and after that tables let's check so now here State new TCP port to the 25 with the SMTP and the 22 SSH and the web server will be accepted. And, and after that, the others copy. Now, faced. So now, except this one, 25, photo number 22, 28. Uh, 80 the new the state will be drop according to these rules okay then let's test the destination not for example here first one the inbound coffee okay faced so so in this case maybe if the packet Arrive to the source uh, destination port 8, then this packet will be forwarded to this IP address and port number is the same. And outbound copy faced. So, and after that, tables B and L. No, no, no. Uh, table lot. So now I the add so here in this case the destination not so port number the destination port 80 will be forward to this IP address and port number. Also I already configured like this. And uh, masquerading okay for the masquerading faced okay okay and after that source not coffee here faced also one more coffee faced Okay, in my case now the Ethernet channel will the permit the masquerade and in my case now I'm using the ETH 0 192.168.0 and if this uh, private IP address will be the change to this one 60.60.11 as a public IP address in the internet. Also this one is the same source TCP port but uh, here 1000 to 1500 so my the private the client to use this the private IP address all or, or, uh, normally will be the uh, transfer to this IP the public IP address with each port number of this range so okay NAT. So now let's just masquerading here. So the port range now using this one and also source not using this one. I configure like this. So also I configure this masquerading. Okay. So far I explain about the NAT and uh, in part 3 I will show you how to configure the exact IP tables the examples 
Okay, thank you for watching this video and see you in part 3.